The man on the right was put on trial because he resisted those who hated the world and were trashing everything in a whole city. The man on the left was defended despite killing a lot of people just because he hated the world. The man on the right did not have a criminal record and was thus deemed a menace to society. The man on the left had a huge criminal record and despite committing a horrible crime as soon as he came out of prison, he was not deemed a menace to society. He was an innocent civilian fleeing a crime scene. The man on the right protected himself according to law, therefore he had to be put on trial for following the law. The man on the left did not follow the law and was defended as protecting himself during a crime. The man on the right was hated for resisting those who want to see the world burn and not accept any responsibility for it. The man on the left was defended by those who hate the world as much as he does and who never feel responsible for doing horrible things no matter how many times they do it. The incident regarding the man on the right was called a crime against black people when the ones who got shot were white pedos and rapists. The incident regarding the man on the left was called an accident when everyone who was there admits the car was trying to hit as many people as possible and that the driver was showing no emotions. The incident regarding the man on the right was everywhere on the internet and the trial was a constant topic of discussion for weeks because it was about the left trying to punish someone who resisted their bullshit. The incident regarding the man on the left was a shadow band from the mass media as unimportant since it was just a criminal rapper killing innocent people who were having fun in a parade. Nothing to see here, it's not something that the left can use for promoting its agenda. I wonder what kind of people is controlling the mass media.